Hello. Let's go ahead and pull the game up. How is everybody doing tonight? I've been itching to play this. I wanted to play it last night, but I just like didn't have the energy. But I am very eager to get back into this game. I want to kick this boss's ass. All right, there it goes. Hopefully I won't have to switch over from the controller to the keyboard again. But I seem to always need to when I boot the game. It seems that yes, I will need to. I could do that in advance, but it's a little bit more annoying to like mute the game, to have the background music that I want and then switch over. It's actually just fewer steps. All right. Let's dive right in. Oh. All right. Let's see if I have any of the muscle memory for this. I'm gonna double check the controls. Let's see. To throw the, the specials, the bomb. Heal is L1. O is to swap weapons. Aim. And shoot. Okay. Hopefully this won't take too many attempts this time. take a couple of tries, but I'm confident we'll get it. But this guy is no joke. He's quick. <laughs> Taking damage, like, right off the bat always feels really bad. Up number going in for a hit there. I need to play it safe and stay back when he's doing the gun attack. Oh, I dashed right into it. Thank you. 
Woo. He is no joke. You know, I'm I'm doing really well. Um, I um, uh, with with things reopening and kind of going back to normal life. Um, I kind of forgot how important those things are to like my mental health. You know. Like, even just something as simple as going out to, like, a restaurant. You say that, but the posit uh, positive rates are getting scary again. But yeah, I know those things are important. Yeah, it's so... I think with things reopening, more unvaccinated people are going out and doing stuff again, and therefore the rates are going up because they're spreading it among the other unvaccinated people. But I haven't heard very many cases of people who are vaccinated getting sick, like, just the chances of that are really slim. Like, it's definitely still, if you go outside, you know, it's definitely, like, wear a mask if you're able to, outdoor seating versus indoor seating, but it, to, to me, it seems like we can start to reopen a little bit, but it's still, like, use your best judgment and don't do things that, like, are excessive. Like, don't go to big parties, right? But, like, going out for outdoor seating at a at a at a diner i think is okay but that's just my opinion i don't know i kind of feel weird talking about it because it's a really kind of controversial thing i'm trying to just kind of go by what the cdc is recommending and and not overextend myself also dave thank you so much for that resub don't want to don't want to spoil the game um yeah, no problem. This is a great game. So, like, I totally understand and recommend that if you want to play it to not watch. So, no worries at all. Hey, Bridge. Welcome in. Is it controversial? Sadly, it shouldn't be. I've seen both sides. Orc, hello. Um, uh, I've, I've seen both sides. I've seen the sides of people who, like, are vaccinated, um but maybe they're more at risk and so they're against things reopening more because they're at they're at risk they can't go out and do those things until it's safe for everybody and then i've also seen the other side of like well i'm vaccinated so i can go out and do whatever um so i don't really know i think i'm somewhere in the middle but i'm trying to just do some of the things that are are most important to me and and not the other stuff I did the thing I said I wasn't gonna do oh all right that's fine that's fine orc bridge how are you guys doing how was the rest of your day I'm in the stay safe crowd because we need to get past this and the more uh, more go out unmasked, like, everything is fine, seems to be a problem. Yeah, like, I'm definitely not going out, like, like there's nothing going on. I'm definitely, like, taking precautions and trying not to do it excessively.
I tried to dash and I got stuck. It's like a truck, it sure does. Um, I go outside without a mask unless I'm in a dense crowd and I'm keeping it on indoors no matter what, not judging just condo. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's kind of where I'm at too. Like if I'm outdoors and I'm not around anybody, I'm not gonna wear a mask. Uh, but if I am around other people or indoors, I do wear a mask, yeah. I'm still avoiding indoor seating at restaurants. Um, Like, that's one thing to come out of the pandemic that I hope stays around is the outdoor seating. Like, we don't really have any of that in Boston because of how seasonal it is here, but it is so nice. I love outdoor seating. being safe but hoping it's almost over kind of had to tell myself that mentality to stay sane yeah yeah i'm right there with you bridge but like i'm also in a very highly vaccinated state like massachusetts is something like 80 percent have actually it might even be higher it might be like 90 percent has the first dose at least and something like 60 or 70 has second dose What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here, Harvey knocked something over and I was startled. We believe in science around here, fortunately. Oh, God. Harvey, you made me take that damage. And that one. That was your fault, Harvey. about the, uh, the the final boss like all right that one was maybe the worst one yet uh, this might be a bad time for it but you're curious to hear my thoughts on subnautica below zero oh I'm happy to talk about subnautica below zero okay so I'm gonna before I dive into it I'll just I'll get my thoughts in order dive into the next attempt so subnautica below zero I so the if anybody um, doesn't want to hear spoilers for subnautica below zero I'll just like I'll wave at the camera when we're done when we're done with my quick rant um, so starting now you've been warned um i didn't like that the map is like 30 percent the size of um 
of the map of the first game. It's like, it's so incredibly small and, and it's not as deep. There's not as extensive areas to explore. When you do get to those deep areas, you don't really have to explore them. You just go from point A to point B and you're done. Um, so I think that the sense of exploration in that game was seriously lacking compared to the first one. The other thing, um, like there were a lot of things that, that I really enjoyed about the game. I think that the, uh, the crafting for one, how they had you be able to like pin recipes was awesome. I thought that was so cool. Uh, saved a lot of time, but also you really didn't need like anything. Um, you, you needed like one or two of each mineral and I'm exaggerating, but you really didn't need very much of anything to do the recipes. So I was banking like all this stuff that I just didn't end up needing at all. Um, I thought that that was kind of like, uh, I'm, I don't want to say misleading, but I was like, why? Uh, also the ending, like the whole, the story I thought was interesting, but then this ending was like bullshit. I don't know. I really didn't like the ending. It just like was this huge buildup. And it was like, it was like a roller coaster where you're like on the roller coaster and you're going up and up, 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 up on the roller coaster. And then you get to the top plateau and you're like expecting to dip down. Instead, you just plateau, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, you had lockers upon lockers of rubies that you didn't need. You didn't need any of it. Um, I thought that the the land area was very cool, uh, but again, like I, I well, I just got lost up there. I had a really, I had a lot of trouble navigating. I found myself more frustrated with that area, um, and. Yeah, but there were a lot of things that I really enjoyed. I thought it was beautiful. I thought the, the game was absolutely beautiful. I really liked the characters. I think that the the plot in terms of like reading a bunch of like text text files and um what else? Uh like the 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 voice logs and stuff. Uh, it wasn't as engaging for me, so by the end I was like, wait, what happened? What was the story? How did that resolve? Um, but the, the, like, all of the system upkeep was more efficient. So, like, the crafting, the survival aspects, all of that was much tighter, much better designed. Um, which made for a better gameplay experience, especially like being able to look for certain minerals and pin pinning the recipes and and I've said that like six times. I really loved that. Um, also having the the navigation pings so that you can go to specific spots that was great. Um, but compared to the first game, it's kind of they lost what what gave the game its magic from the start. Um, yeah, that's my that's my. Uh, summary of the game like still give it 8 out of 10 yeah if subnautica the first one is 10 out of 10 this one would be below zero would be more like a 7.5 for me i think i don't remember how many how many burbs i gave it during my initial review but i was pissed at the ending so it was, i probably gave it like a six <laughs> um yeah no totally all right i will i will stop with the spoilers now y'all can come back you can come back now. We're done talking about spoilers. Done. Done with spoilers. Done with spoilers. Okay. <laughs> that probably worked out okay. Oh, no. But yeah, so below zero, I'm not going to talk about spoilers anymore. But um, that was like my most highly anticipated game of, of the year. So I had a lot of thoughts about it. I had a lot of expectations. I'll say that too. I expected a lot from that game. Which uh, can be good and bad. When you hit with that shotgun, it is 
A plus. It's like you don't actually need to hit him that time that often. You just have to get really close. Don't walk into it. if they're going to move on to making a new game anytime soon, Subnautica 3 or something else entirely. I hope that they do something different, but in the same genre. I think. Like, I just don't know what they could give us in a Subnautica 3 that's not more of the same of the first two. I think it would start to feel very repetitive, but... I've been wrong before. It's happened. How did I take damage there? I was just too close. See me fine. Bridge, have you played Outer Wilds? Oh, I I can't dash through him. Damn it. but not Outer Wilds, had to think for a second. Um, honestly, I highly recommend Outer Wilds, especially to people who enjoy Subnautica. Um, because you know how Subnautica, like even the first one, like or especially the first one, I'll say, gives you those, those feeling, that feeling of like discovery and that, wow, like really connecting the dots. Um, uh, Outer Wilds is that, but, like, it's the entire game. And I was, I was saying the other day that the further I get away from Outer Wilds after playing it, the more I think it's one of the best games I've ever played. And I don't say that lightly. to add it to your list. Oh, you should. If you play it, like, on stream, let me know, because I will be there.
I know I didn't have that much damage there, but I'm so close. Shit, get him, get him. Yes! Did it! Yes! I'm like, my heart is like racing. I was just like really <laughs> leaning into that. I'm gonna close my door. Hold up. I feel bad when I'm just like yelling and my door is open. Thing next on your list, you've got Ori in the Blind Forest, uh, then a charity stream for Boston Children's Hospital first week of August. Are you in Boston Bridge? Did I not know that? Uh, but after that, uh, I could check it out. Yeah, Ori is excellent too. Um, did you did you play Hollow Knight? Not quite in Boston. Okay. Yeah, just generally. I didn't mean, like, specifically exactly where you live. <laughs> just, like, if you're in, like, around New England. Oh, a new gun? Which is the new one? This one? Oh, that's the wrong button. <gasps> that's cool. You loved Hollow Knight. Okay, so Hollow Knight, uh, or uh, Ori in the Blind Forest is like Hollow Knight on easy mode, is how I like to describe it. Um, I've heard that whichever one of the two you start with is the one that will be your favorite. Um, which I don't necessarily disagree with. Um, I, so Hollow Knight was just a little bit too challenging for me, almost. I don't know. I struggled with it. But I think if I had just given it a little bit more time and, like, really commit to it, I would have been fine. Oh, and it was tough. Never beat the the final DLC boss. I um I never beat the actual boss of uh of Hollow Knight, the final boss. This is really cool, by the way. Um, I like got to the final boss and then was just like, you know what? Nah, I get it. Cause I'd like taken a bit of a break and it was it wasn't even that long but it was like two weeks and taking a two week break from hollow knight like i'd lost the muscle memory for it and it would have been a pain to like try to learn it again i'm trying to figure out where i should go first All right, I think my instincts were correct to come over here first. Oh, they fell. They, they were so excited that they jumped to their doom. With something like that you're cool just firing up a youtube bod and seeing what the game ending is yeah that's it's exactly what i did so like maybe i'll redeem myself and go back and try it again at some point but if i did it would 
I don't I don't know. I wouldn't I'd never do like a challenge run for Hollow Knight. The only game I've considered doing a challenge run for is um, The Last of Us Part 2 because I just loved that game so much and one of my one of my favorite like just put on a, a, a stream in the background while I'm working and like not really paying attention um, is when people do permadeath speed runs or or just permadeath runs of um, The Last of Us Part 2. Nice. Is there anything else around here before I go? I don't think so. And now we're back here. Sweet. Did this go down? <gasps> it didn't. I thought it would. I never found this. I wonder if I should try to go up there one more time. Oh, God. Dang. All right, maybe I'll heal before I do that. I don't know. I don't like these spikes. These spikes are not fun. There we go. Just had to be a little bit more careful, a little more methodical. Oh, maybe I can get through here now and I couldn't before? I love the music in this. It's like, it's so grungy. You're nothing, I already killed your dad. I've gotten so much more confident in my gameplay uh, over the last, you know, like, stream. Because I remember when I first started, I was struggling with even the, the easiest of bosses. Or not even bosses, just enemies. And now I'm just like, get out of my way, you piece of shit. Gotta be quick. Ow! Stupid dogs. Oh, I've definitely beat these guys before. I remember this room. This room's annoying. So there must have been something that I missed if they're still spawning. sure I'm using my gun, especially since I've got this new fancy one. Yeah, because, like, the healing packs are all gone. This is where I came in.
What am I missing? Maybe I should go up? Huh. Where could that be? Oh, it's underground. Oh, you'd think I would have figured out that there's two levels by now. So, uh oh, I keep doing that. Ah, I'm wasting all my shit. Where am I supposed to go down? It could be here. Let's teleport. Let's get back. Let's get out of this area. There's gotta be another, like, underground passage that I just haven't found. this way a little bit until I can go up. doesn't feel right either. Maybe there's just something I'm missing. Like, I know I got a key, but I don't know where it goes. Let's just go back. do it. We'll go all the way back. Man, I'm still so sore from working out on Sunday. Like my back just hurts. I feel like such a baby. I don't totally know what that means yet. This is like my house, right? Destroy all of my things. I set the lights. <laughs> oh wow, I cracked the mirror. Oh my god, the, the- wait, the mirror works in this game! That's how you know it's a good game, if the mirror works. Hold on, if we leave and come back, will the mirror be fixed? I gotta know. We, I gotta know. We gotta go back. Oh no, it's still broken. I can't believe the mirror works. That's so cool. Like, what a cute little touch. Oh, I don't have all of these yet, though. Oh, okay. Interesting. I like I have the big tower, but I haven't found all of the things I need to find. Um Huh. 
That's very interesting, because I haven't even found anywhere that lets me, like, go down. Does this go down? Yeah, that goes down. Moving my mouse out of the way. Oh shit, I think I just missed this whole area. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, can't go through there yet. You know what? Man, maybe I do want my range weapon. <laughs> Alright, this is cool. All right, this this I'm into. All right, let's actually. Uh, oh, it's in share to get to my inventory. Okay. Um, I really like my shotgun. But let's do one range. a little bit better for this area. going on up here oh I didn't I shouldn't have taken that that was dumb I went too fast oh wow okay that didn't work oh shit uh, let's use this gun So many. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Oh, I missed. Okay. Oh, shit. That one was going all right. It's going all right for a minute. Wait, why are the lights off now? Let me through. Don't need that yet.
Come at me. Damn. Shit. Alright. Can I even dash across there? Let's heal. I can't. Oh. Oh, we go down again? We've never gone down twice before. Can we see anything over here? I don't think so. sliding down. I thought it was going up and down, not back and forth. Okay. Okay. Nice to give us a little health pack there. Turn those off. Okay, hey, better. All right. May as well heal. Oh, can I open this? <gasps> I can. I didn't even realize. Can I open the other ones? I didn't think so. But maybe I was just wrong. One of you! I love the guns in this so much. They're so satisfying. Something, something that I really enjoy about this game that I'm going to pause a moment to talk about is that this game does an excellent job of presenting you with multiple paths that are both valid, um, where you have to choose a path, and by choosing a path, you're committing to not taking the other path. Um, sometimes it might just be like a little corner with a dead end, but other times it might be a whole branching area and you really don't know which, and you have to just pick one. Eventually it'll loop you back around and you'll be able to explore all of the areas, but I'm still thinking about back when I went up and I could have gone left, what would have happened if I had gone left? I want to go back and figure that out now. So that is just like design-wise something that, ugh so good. It really makes a difference when you're playing the game. Like, it, it makes it not feel linear. Because I, I don't know, I don't know how open world this game actually is. Because I have a feeling that it's not. I think you have to do things in specific orders. But they do a really good job of, of um, Giving, giving the impression to the player that you can do stuff in whatever order you want and it won't matter. 
So like, here's another great example. I knew that there was a path here that I missed coming back over here. There are now two paths. There's this one. There's the path with the golem, and then there was the path in the area that I was just in um, to the left. And I have to pick one. Like, you, you can't do it all all at once. You have to start with one. And it's like, which one is the most interesting to me right now? I usually pick them based on if I think it's just gonna be a little reward area like this. I thought that this was a little secret area, so I went over here first. Uh, and, and then I feel rewarded by that discovery. So I just think that the design is very, quite excellent, I think. I think that's something that The Last of Us is very good too. They give you, but they give you more of an illusion of choice where it'll just be like a singular path um, and it'll branch and it'll always be a dead end at one path, always. But there might be loot there. And so it's like if you t turn a corner and it progresses the story, you're like, oh, did I miss loot? And that makes the world perceive as larger than it is. I'm being reckless, I'm being reckless. Man, I think it's better to just go straight for the switch. So like all of these, can I open all these? Oh my God, I can. So there was a lot of stuff that I missed in that previous room. Probably could have timed that better. Oh, I'm out of health. Oh, there's so many little areas that I want to go back to now. Oh, that's funny. There's a new guy here now. Weird. even take the chance. Alright, cool. And now I can go explore this final area that we unlocked to progress the game. this new gun. Ha. Nice. I wonder if this area was blocked off for a little while. Not sure. I don't even need that health. I'm gonna leave it in case I come back here, I guess? Uh, see, that's the thing. I really want to go back and explore some of those areas that I missed. I hope this loops us back around. Man, I was worried that I that this game was gonna be too difficult for me, and now I'm, I'm just so pleasantly surprised. Is this where I came in?
Does this let me out at a whole new area? I bet it does. Or a little... <gasps> oh! Sweet. Alright, let's go back down, though. These little teleporters, man. Where does this let up? I feel like this is gonna let up where we started. And it sure does. Very cool. So if you did this part earlier, it would let you out how to uh, at where you need to go to to fight the boss, or if you're like me and you did it later, it puts you back out at the start. Oh, I thought that was gonna turn off the guys. I was wrong. I missed that earlier. came through here and this is where I went up and I think that there were some doors that I could open oh I still have to kill this guy get out of there what if I hit that from here I can't How do I get over there? Oh, I want that so badly. Maybe, oh, maybe by going down and around, there'll be another path up there. Because this is where I didn't go. Ow, 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 ow! Get, get. Oh, wow, more. Locked. Hmm. I can't tell you how badly I want to get over there. That just won't work. And I know that there were some doors that I, I didn't go through that I want to. These ones. I want to go through these doors. There might not be anything worth getting, but... Yeah, maybe not worth it, but that's okay. Oh, there's more stuff down here, though. Oh, God! You'd think having just done this, I would uh, be prepared, but... Nope. Whoa! Okay, let's start with these guys. Oh, let's go around. Thought for sure there was gonna be a health before fighting this guy. doesn't have that much health. Oh, he's he's no biggie. Well, cool. That 
was cool. I'm surprised I missed that the first time. I'll just keep going. I think I got everything else. I'll take that now. Up we go. Keat, hello! I did get the boss. Yeah, I got him. That was that was a tough fight. It took me it took me a good 30 minutes of attempts. But yeah, I got him. How are you? Okay, let's see. Where to now? So I think we've been to all of these now. I think. I think, I think, I think. So let's actually just go back to this main area. I, we still didn't find that other little, uh, the thing that we have to, like, turn, the, the other triangle. But come back around. Doing well. Practicing some guilty gear. So I can take, uh... <laughs> win more than 30% of the games versus Orc. Oh my gosh. He is so good. He's just so good at fighting games. I mean, I guess that's his thing, but still. Oh, the mirror is still broken. I still can't get over this mirror. Yeah, when uh, when we were playing StarCraft 2, Orc and I, I thought that like, oh, I just wasted that. I keep bumping it on my desk bumping the controller on my desk. Um, I thought that I would, like, stand a chance. I thought I would do, like, okay. Uh, but no. No, I certainly did not. I did quite poorly. Let's see. I want to upgrade this bomb. I don't use it very much, but I like it. See, a Grandmaster? Is that... Yeah, let's do it. Double bomb. Super bomb. Thanks, Mr. Penguin Man. Maybe I can just upgrade this too. Oh, I can upgrade any of these. Oh. Farthest you got was diamond in StarCraft 2. I think I got like, like I don't know, silver or gold. I wasn't very good. And despite, despite my be a better gamer back from the days of the Day 9 Daily that I watched all the time. Uh, let's upgrade this. Heck yeah. I think I was more into the, oh, we have to get the top one next in order to go down. I understand these now. I understand now. We have to go up first before we can go down. <gasps> Wait, I didn't even realize this was an option. We can upgrade the sword? Oh no. Oh, I need this though. All right, we're gonna have to go and come back. I need more money. Gotta get some more money. What's this? I just kind of assumed that up was the, uh, towards the ending. <gasps> Faster dash? I shouldn't have upgraded my gun. I feel like a dummy. What 
is this? I don't know what this means. I don't know what it means yet. I'll have to come back. No, no, no. Out. I'll go out. Oh, I can't go up there. Yes, money! I need it! I need double dash! I need fast dash! It's very important! Sorry about your bones. Uh, yeah, I can take an extra health with me. Where are we going? Ooh, this whole new biome. We got a little hidden health over there I'm gonna leave alone. Where are we going, though? Hey, hey man! Oh. Alright, we got another boss. <laughs> There's a lot of health around here, and not nothing to fight. Seems awfully like we're going straight to the boss. A deer! I like the little deer. Oh, I'm missing a lot of keys, I guess. Oh, oh, hi. No, I don't want to hurt the birds! Oh, I can only hit them when they are flying down. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Come at me. here right now. Oh, I need some water. Oh, that sounds like something I'm gonna fight. Or maybe a... Oh, maybe I just can't go here yet. Okay. That's fine. That's just more to explore later. Oh, this is this sounds so dumb, but like from my workout the other day, my hands are really sore and like my grip strength and like holding the controller and pressing the buttons is legitimately like getting tiring. Maybe I should just walk and not dash everywhere. Enjoy the nice scenery. I don't look at the backgrounds enough. I'm too focused on the foreground. The deer. Little guys over there. The flags are making me think of Celeste. Oh no! I gotta go around this way. 
Celeste was a really fun game. I wish I had played that on stream, but I, I played it like right before I started streaming. our dog. Oh, it's that guy. It's our, our friend who's also sick. Thanks, man. Feel better. worried about our pal. Yeah, money. We're getting close. We just need five more to get our double dash upgrade, which we so desperately need. see how far back we go. Did I try going over here? Ooh. Oh, yeah. I don't remember how many I had when I went this way. Let's just do it again. It wasn't didn't take long. Good thing we did. Yeah. All right, four more. sure if that's what it's supposed to be or not this is nice i like this they um they hint that you can go around the edge of this map here by putting that in clear view because i bet the other one on the other side is not let me guess let's check oh yeah it's not Funny, I, I would have said that the dashing in this- Oh, what the fuck? I would have said that the dashing in this was like a, a flaw in the controls, but um, now that I know you can upgrade it, I, I don't think so. And I swear I will say something negative about this game at some point. It's not a perfect game, but uh, I just really... I'm enjoying everything that I've seen so far. Feels good. I don't know, I like being really critical of games that I play. Um, not in a way to like bash the games or anything, but just that I think that when we look at games in a really critical light, it'll help the, the medium grow in general. Um, But also, I went to art school, so I'm used to just being more critical. Also, the music is getting louder. Oh, 
usually get critical only after a few days because when I finish the game, you just get the feeling that this was the best game ever. It's the hype. That's true. That's a really good point. You're, I think um, I'll definitely either enjoy or not enjoy a game more in the moment than reflecting on it in a couple of days. Like, I think I said earlier that um, as I get further and further away from Outer Wilds, the, the more I think it's one of the best games I've ever played. Oh, I can't go over there. Not yet. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll definitely sing a game's praises more in the moment, I think. Um, also, like, I'm only halfway through with this game. It could have a really shitty ending. I don't know yet. Ha! Ah. Grab that health pack down here. I'm trying to think of a game that I loved in the moment and then reflecting on it, I wasn't as into it. I don't know. I feel like it's way more often the other way around where I I might not like something about a game in the moment and then reflecting on it, I'm like, no, that was actually really good. Uh, it's pretty rare, rare, but it sometimes happens the other way around. The first wreck, first wreck at Ralph is your favorite movie of all time, and you remember after watching the second one, you were pretty disappointed because it kind of felt like a copy-paste, but after a few days, had time to think about it. Uh, I think the character development was actually genius and on point, and didn't notice it at the time, but it's your second favorite movie, movie now after the first one. Yeah, that's awesome. That happens, I think, a lot with sequels, too, is, like, I, this happened to me with Subnautica. Like, you go into it expecting one thing, and that could, it could be anything. You could even not think you have expectations, but you do, just, like, a little bit. Uh, and then doesn't matter what is presented, it will never exceed those expectations, you know? So you're initially super disappointed, but then you look back on it and you're like, no, that was actually pretty good. It wasn't what I thought it would be, but it was good. Oh! I'll go there in a minute. I want to go down here first. Yeah! Oh, we're so close. Oh, God, I love this art. Man. I'm putting together, like, I've been, I've had a shopping cart on Fan Gamer for, like, a week or two where I'm just, like, trying to decide what I want and I don't know what sizes to get. Um, and one of the things that I was thinking about getting was the, oh, was the art book from Hyper Light Drifter, and the more I played this game, the more I think I should just get the art book. It's like, I don't know, I, I think that eventually when I have like my own place and I have space for decorating however I want to, I wanna have like uh, 
instead of having like magazines on the coffee table, I want to have like video game art books. And I have a couple already. I've got um, some that I purchased myself and some that I've gotten as gifts. But I've got the The Last of Us book and I have got the Journey book. What else? I've got the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn book. That's it, though. But I, I just, I don't know. The art is usually one of my favorite things about any game that I play. And I love seeing how they, like, decided on what character designs to use and the wallpapers and the... The concept art and all that. God, oh God. Oh, I missed. Come at me. Ralph movies were really good too. I really enjoyed them. I definitely liked the first one more than the second one, but I thought they were really fun. down here before I go. Ooh, lots of health. I'll take one, leave the other. This combat is is very satisfying right now. Getting this like really strong gun. Yeah, come over here. There we go. What's going on here. More? I didn't get the... Did I get the thing? Is that it? No. I think I just didn't get that extra... Oh, there we go. I just noticed that there's a little sound bite with that. Oh. 
Haven't found one of these in a while. Where does this take me? Oh. Can I go down from there? I'm not sure if I can. Oh no. I'll take that now at least. Let's try this one more time. I just like hop down. Oh, I can. Sweet. Heal up. Oh. I went that way before. What if I go? Well, there's that. Start with that. Sick. Oh, we can't go there yet. Okay. And that needs all four. I like this way of directing us where to go a little bit. So we can't go there. We can't go... I think this is the way we already went, but let's check. Oh, this looks familiar, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we did go here. We went there. I do not believe we went here. Seems promising. Heck yeah. New content. Oh, come on. Whoops. Maybe we'll be able to get the sword and the double jump. Now that would be really nice. Mark! Oh god. Something caught in my throat right there. Mark, thank you so much for the raid! Let me give you a shout out. Hold on. How was the rest of your stream? Oh, I gotta click back onto the game. Oh boy. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Are you enjoying Divinity? Made some progress. Today's stream was pretty chill. Nothing too tilting in the game. That's good. Uh, I can't get in there. Enjoying is a strong word. Fair enough. I, um... Uh, what... You played this game. I, I watched you play some of it. 
what were your overall thoughts of it? Because I, I won't lie, I'm really impressed with this game. I kind of love it. Shit. <laughs> I, I really, really like it. Um, I'm really impressed with the level design and the, um, if, if not the illusion of choice, maybe the actual choice that they give the player of where to go and what to do. Ah. Like the vibe in the combat, wish the map was better. Backtracking wasn't something you wanted to do. Gotcha. Yeah, that's not something that has bothered me, actually. Um, oops. Yeah, here. Ah, uh, let me alone. Well, that's fine. Um, I, I was saying earlier that something that I really like about this game is that it'll you'll come up to an area and you'll have a you'll have a couple of branches and you kind of have to pick one and because of the way the map is designed you have no idea if that branch is going to be two separate like entire loops of area that you need to explore or if it's just going to be a little area with a little bonus item or a healing item or something you don't really know and so whenever you pass up on one branch it leaves you wondering what's at that other branch, um, which makes the world feel really big, uh, even if it might not be. So not that one, we want this one and then over. Okay. I wanna go up here. I'm also just like super into the art and I think this was just like the the right game for me to play at this time. I was really in the mood for a a chill exploration-y but also has some combat element game. <sighs> Got to go eat dinner. But hope I continue to enjoy it. Thanks. I uh, hope you enjoy your dinner. I love the music too. Yeah, it's 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 nice and chill. Gonna be lurking? Thanks for the lurk. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, we unlocked that door and we activated these things. I noticed these, but they weren't moving, so I didn't pay much attention to them. I'm so happy to be getting this money, too. Once we finish this little area, I want to circle back to town, actually. Uh, because I want to get those upgrades. That surprised me. <laughs> startled me. Well, that one was just dumb. 
All right, let's try that again. Oh no, that's fine. I was doing so well on that first one and then I just got really confident with my movement. All right, let's take it a little slower this time. Let's count. No, I dashed. I did not dash fast enough. No, how did I do that before? Maybe I need to wait for it to go all the way back and then go down. I think that's probably the way. got lucky the first time, I guess. There we go. Alright, so it's two, one, all three. one's a little bit harder to predict. Oh no! I thought I was gonna be able to get through behind it. That's okay. Practice makes progress. Easy peasy. Oh, what? I got pushed out of the map. <laughs> How did that happen? Just get pushed right out of the map. I think I was overthinking that one a little bit. This one I'm not sure about. like, I really don't want to die there. Ooh. That was scary. Oh, I didn't need that. That's fine. I don't want to do any of that again. Get hit with a gun. Oh my god, there's so many! That bomb hit so well. Please tell me it saved at the end. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I would have been so, so bummed out. Peace. 
These areas, they are not kidding. I wonder if I'll have an easier time with the shotgun. Let's switch to it, actually. It wouldn't let me go down before. That's fine. Get him all. Come on. Come here. There we go. Whew. Save. Very good. Was there a little spot over here? No, there's not. One more. Sending me back to the main area? Yes, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. So we're gonna go down. We're gonna heal. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I want to go back here and go to that shop. It's gotta be the dash. It just, it has to be. <sighs> oh, it's so exciting. Oh, there we go. I just noticed this little meter in the top right. I don't know what that means. I don't know what this two means either. I don't know. Who's that? Who's that guy we're following? Every time I walk over this, my controller rumbles a little bit. So let's go back up here.
Now we can get into those doors on the right that we were blocked off from before. But I think I'm going to call it here for tonight. I'm getting a little tired. Let me... Oh, Loof is streaming? We're going to raid Loof. Keith, thank you so much for hanging out. Mark, thank you again for that raid. Orc, Pyro, I hope you have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, Heat. You as well. Let's set up the raid and let's go say hello to our good pal, St. Loof. I never get to raid him because he doesn't usually stream this late. So that's very exciting. Yeah, heck yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you at the next one. Take it easy.